Chicago. Uh, wow. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I, I, uh, I didn't approve any of those videos. <laughs> I will remember you. Right, it was a little bit of that vibe. Um, it's funny. Um, <laughs> I've, um, you know, I've heard the story so many times because I tell it uh, almost every day. No, really, I knew when season my parents were deported. <laughs> it's just a thing that happens. It's a trauma. This is what we're trying to get through to people. <laughs> um, uh, and, and I, was, you know, I, I was hearing it backstage, and I, uh, everyone was quiet, and I was like, "Ha! <laughs> yeah, that happened to me." Um, and the reason I can laugh about it now is because. Um, since, uh, since sharing my story, um, it has empowered me so much, and it has really brought me closer to my community and my family closer, uh, we're, we're closer than ever, really has brought us together. Um, when I hid my story, and when I wasn't vocal about what was going on in my community, um, it, it was a very dark time, and. Um, it, it was hard to be myself, and so thank you so much for allowing me to tell my story and for being so welcoming and understanding. Um, now I'll get to something that I wrote. Uh, I didn't know there were a tele there was a teleprompter, so thank you to my manager and agency for telling me about that. <laughs> so, go old school on this bitch, <laughs> right? Thank you so much. Yes, muchas gracias. Lo agradezco mucho. Thank you to the National Hispanic Media Coalition and President Alex Nogales for including me in this night of celebration. NHMC plays a vital role in advocating fair and equal representation for the Latinx community in the media. What an incredibly challenging task. Um, I know, because I'm trying to get in, right? I mean, no, really, I'm really tired. I have like three to five jobs, and I'll tell you what, one of them is only acting. Um, that didn't work, Amelia. That one didn't work. Um, it was hard, you never know what's coming back. I was holding this one in my pocket, and I'm working on my stand-up. It's working here with you. Anyway, back to the serious stuff. We are underrepresented in the media. History books, museums, the government. That was gonna be funny too. <laughs> it is no joke at the moment. Now I'm proud to have worked on shows that celebrate cultural diversity in the U.S. Um, but there's so much more work to be done. I remember seeing Quinceañera with Emily Rios. I don't know if anybody saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And although Emily's character was of Mexican descent, living in California, and I was of Colombian descent, living in Boston, in this film I saw myself, a young Latina struggling with her identity and being impregnated by Jesus. <laughs> we knew later Jesus didn't do it. Slippery little suckers. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. Wow, I, this, is why, this, this is why you're my community. You're just so supportive. Thank you so much. I had never before seen anyone who looked like me sharing a story, anything similar to mine. And I was forever changed by seeing a young woman of color on screen. When we see those who look like us telling our stories, we redefine norms. And in doing so, we make way for generations of inspired youth. Just look at films like Black Panther, Get Out, Girls Trip, shattering old Hollywood myths that films featuring stories of people of color wouldn't fill theater, uh, theaters. That was my idea. Field theaters. Um, 
that I blame Jaime Camille for that I just talked to him backstage and his accent just se le pega uno, you know? <laughs> Nana, I, I, was, I was hoping he was, he was not there. So boy. Uh, you are, thank you. Um, I think back when I initially shared my story, I felt vulnerable, alone, even wrong. And in the years since, through working with organizations like the ILRC, Immigration Legal, Legal Resource Center, and Mi Familia Vota, meeting people like Grisel Ruiz, Jibi Martinez, and Ben Monterroso, these activists helped me realize that there are hundreds of thousands of people in the U.S. with stories like mine that haven't been told. From the undocumented to the underestimated, we're doing this work for them. I have one more page. <laughs> so again, thank you, NHMC, for advancing our cause on behalf of all Latinos in America. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.